going on guys and welcome to today's video we are doing a mother freaking meal prep monday video today i am so pumped although i am forewarning you there's nothing fancy today i just you know i talked about this in my last meal prep monday video the only reason why i struggle to do them consistently is because it's hard to make old recipes and old content be new and fresh and exciting. But it was the number one most requested video on my channel when I asked what you guys wanted to see more of. So alas, we are here today. I got some chicken thighs and chicken breasts from Wegmans when I was there. If you didn't see my Wegmans haul, I will put it up above. I got a lot of really good things at Wegmans this week and Trader Joe's. I'm very excited about it. So we're gonna prep some things and, oh my gosh, I have not used my new Ninja Double Dual whatever air fryer. I had used the Ninja 5-in-1 foodie for like four years. And honestly, when I moved, I just was like, I, I can't bring this with me. It's so big and cumbersome and it just, we needed a fresh one. Okay, so I read some reviews and I ended up going with the Ninja Duel and I'm so happy that I did. I love it. So we're gonna use that today, that's kind of new. And I don't think I have anything super exciting to tell you in terms of prepping. So I'm just gonna shut up and we're gonna get on in to the video. We got sides, potatoes, veggies. I gotta show you this new seasoning from Trader Joe's. Are you kidding me? Dill pickle and ranch for veggies? Sign me up. finish these to where you can do two different foods two different ways and have them finish at the same time don't really know because i haven't tried this yet i've only been <laughs> doing the same food each time so this is for this drawer we're going to put this one on air fryer this is the broccoli and i'm going to do this a little bit lower i'm going to put it on 375 and i think then you have to press well let's see i don't know honestly we're just winging it here <laughs> Uh, and then two, we're going to do air fry, but we're going to do 400 and then we're going to press start smart finish. There we go. So on this side, it's 375. This side is 400, both on air fry. Not entirely sure if this is going to work, but we're going to give it a try together. <laughs> protein pasta last week we're doing butternut squash these are probably my favorite raviolis from trader joe's they're just the butternut squash raviolis and for one cup it's four fat 34 carb and seven protein which honestly is pretty good for revs if you ask me i'm just boiling some water for this and while i'm waiting for that i have both chicken breast and chicken thighs so what i like to do when i have two sources of protein is make one of them a different flavor profile so for the chicken thighs i'm going to go barbecue and then for the chicken breast i'm going to do kind of like a Mexican like I have some chili onion crunch from Trader Joe's and some a little bit more spicy options So I can make things like burrito bowls tacos things like that So if you're new here, I always prep my proteins and my sides separately I've been doing that for years. It's so helpful to make different meals out of the same things that you already have
a little bit more time. So I'm going to swap out the broccoli. I just have the ravioli sitting in the strainer. I don't typically put sauce on these when I prep them because I like to have fresh sauce and like put some Parmesan or whatever on them. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to leave them plain, but I am going to get my glass Tupperware. I'm going to take the broccoli out. We're going to switch and put the chicken breast in, and then we're going to work on the chicken. Today. garden okay how cute is that we love that so instead I'm gonna do the cilantro lime which is really easy and I wanted to test it out to see what it would be like if I put this dill dressing as like a marinade because when I normally make the cilantro lime chicken thighs I do like that cilantro paste with lime juice cilantro a little bit of brown sugar um, and I think just like random spices I throw together However, I've never used a cream base for this and I want to test it out today. I'm just going to eyeball this and I'm going to coat these guys. Oops, that was kind of a lot. I always like to use a gallon bag for this because I feel like I can evenly coat it. A little bit of lime juice and then we're going to use my fresh cilantro. I'm so excited about this. I feel like I'm prepping way too much food here because I'm getting excited about all the food I have, but that's okay. I'll learn. I'm gonna use a little bit of garlic powder. I'm gonna use the everyday seasoning from Trader Joe's. You kind of just really can't go wrong with this. So I feel like this could be really good. I don't know how much of anything I put in. Just gonna let you know that right now. So we're gonna squeeze the air out and then I kind of just like mash it all together and flip it around. Ideally, you'd wanna let this marinate overnight, but for the sake of the video, because I wanna see how this is, we're gonna cook it immediately. <laughs> lunch and this little salsa verde guy that I got I probably just said that so wrong I got from Wegmans it's so stinking good so I put the rest of my uh, Trader Joe's jasmine rice at the bottom there are some black beans the chicken breast I just cooked the broccoli I just cooked and like a half an avocado and a little bit of cotilla cheese on top actually for garnish we still have more cilantro let's do it up I don't have anything else to prep so that just means that the last thing is to eat my lunch because it's 12.30. Let's give the chicken a taste and see. Mm. Wegmans produce and meats are really good. From what I remember and this, what I've been eating this week, fire. I almost forgot. I have pineapple mango salsa. This is like a staple. Could you make this yourself? Absolutely. Am I going to? Absolutely not. Done. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Hold on, hold on. Why is my focus so terrible today? Wow, uh, that came out so much better than I thought it was going to. Way crispier. All right. All right, so this is what I have for the week. Potatoes, broccoli, butternut squash ravioli, chicken breast, chicken thighs, and already in the fridge, I have lean patties that I can make burgers with and then all of my salad stuff is right here so I always make salads during the week with some of the same things just cut up some cucumbers tomato and I even put that mango salsa on there and in my freezer I have some other frozen options just in case but this is kind of like when I run out of meal prep so oh my god this pizza from Trader Joe's so fire and then I have some frozen power plate meals, of course the jasmine rice, some smoothie prep stuff, and some uh, just bare chicken nuggets. These are just so good. They're so good to have as like a little backup 
in case you don't feel like eating real food. You know what I'm saying? And that, my friends, is it for the Meal Prep Monday. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new here, I would super appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe. We're almost to 100,000 subscribers. I feel like I've literally been saying that for two years. <laughs> uh, but that's all I have for you in today's video. Let me know what you think. If you have any other recipes you think I should try. And as always, I'll see you on Mondays.